so Jarvis deployments or, or Spring, uh, the Docker and Docker Compose based deployment, Docker and Kubernetes based deployment. Today we are trying to do the Docker and Docker Compose based deployment. So we will go to the to build the Docker image. So it's it will be the created the image that we expected. So exactly the image uh, Docker image is created 1.2.6. That's perfectly. But as I already discussed, how can you pull image into the uh, git in uh, docker docker hub or you can download pull and push the image and inspect the image that's is everything is possible you can remove also so we, now we will we'll run the application with the docker compose that's compose files let's go back to the here so we have a docker compose file that's we defined it here this level the docker compose files that's all definitions so this is our tags and this is the versions that we defined here so the version number so this is really, really, really professional way to handle the applications that we expected. So Docker Compose file, then we can run a very simple Docker Compose app. So we can see Docker Compose app. There is the commands. So you can say uh, with with the, this Docker image, we need to be uh, install the application Docker Compose app. So you see the the db user registration is starting and created containers and started the db the server started and now is the application user registration application will be started so is attaching to the the D database and also the your spring boot applications and now spring boot application is running with the dev uh, development environment so you can just simply change the production environments, development environment that's I said in the professional way to handle the applications just you need to be simply change the environmental parameters the which environment you try to install here so you can the production, rel, release and then so on and so forth so so it's see the applications uh, 2020 is, is running so 2020 and should, should run 2020 application running and now we can check the applications in the Docker Compose, Docker Docker Desktops. So you see the status is even using, in using. This, this is the PBS image, and then now we can check the application. So everything properly working. So application expose is two zero two two one, and this is the database is running what we expected. Then now we can go for the checking the all the Docker images, and then all application Docker Compose application what is running. So we'll do the check first is our application is properly running or not. So we can go, this is the Docker, we can check it out all the Docker images. So you see the so you see the all the Docker images with a version number 2.2, uh, 1.2.6, 1.2.6 and the base and the postgres database 19.6 alpha, alpha alpha version. So, the, so Docker processes. You can check the Docker process. So you see the Docker process, the what we expecting. So the two processes running. So we need to be go to check the database check. So we can say Docker the exec it, and then you need to be the database version, the container it. So we get the container id and psql and console the user. Sorry. Postgres user. So we can say uh, which which database information is there. So we see the all the proper we are running perfectly. So we can just select statements. Start from the for the history, the flyway database logging history. So you see the logging history is there. So then we have a select statement, maybe the previous one. Oh, sorry. Ah,
select star from the from the user registration user registration user registrations tables Uh, maybe you can quit then go back again the CLI and then a docker docker processes and docker exec execution interactive mode and then we push the container id and then psql So you can see the, the user registration tables. User registration tables, there is three entries, then we'll do the test, some test, maybe user role entries, there is something. So two roles. So we can go to the postman's, but the application is running, what, what we expected. So we can go to the applications. So we see the applications with the new versions 1.2.6 is running. So we can check the health conditions. Because you are using here the actuator. So we can check also the, uh, the actuated information, the, all the components, actuator, health, you see the info, information, all things is expected. So you can see the PBS record that we have it with the new versions. So it has a versions 2.201, 202. And, and now we can create maybe additional one to check that everything is working. That's I said, this is the professional way you can export these uh, test cases for the testing department or you de the deployment department. They simply run, import these test cases and changing the uh, the the port and URL and then so on. It's automatically works. So let's have input one record, additional records, and that's what we expected. So so how it is works. So 300, 302, 4 and fives, and now we can see the all the entries and uh, the 305 and six. We can put some examples. Let's have a check in the database level. So we see that the 304 and fives, what we expect, five, four and fives. So we can, we can the role, user role, there is still the role. So 201, and then they has some roles. Uh, this role, what, 100 and 101. So let's have put some examples. This is the putting the role is working properly so five and fives users and then put it like some changes so 102 103 104 so let's have a check uh, into the database level so you see that the 204 205 so it's perfectly working for expected and what this is the important part we already discussed how can you do how can you how can you manipulate how can you deploy that's you need to be recap again i need to recap again so you need to visit, uh, look for the previous version how you integrate the flyway and then do the implementation that i already discussed uh, for the for the deployment of the docker and docker compose you need to be environmental setting variable the professional way to handle or maybe alternative way but I 
so i found really good way to handle this one so we need to be handled the the your your yeah, compo docker compose files a bit based on the your environmental settings everything perfect and you need to be just your docker files exactly the docker files and we define the your version which version you need to be build the docker image out of the which versions that so you simply copy those files into the your the external directory and then put that all the files uh, into the into all the files into the your installation team or you know the operation team or deployment team it just simply run the the command that we did in together in here in the command line window so do you see the, all the history that you simply run the all the you build the docker image out of based on the docker files and then just simply very simple docker compose up and this application is up in, running and then you you do the test case with the postmans and then everything perfect that's what we expected so this is really that i said this is really professional way to to devops cultures and the continuous integration and com continuous deployments so that means we did the uh, all the deployment with standalone jar file based deployments and also we did the deployment with the with the with the with the docker compose uh, docker and docker compose files and next one uh, we will discuss the the uh, deployment with the with the docker and kubernetes application we already set up the, all the all the configurations just we need to be next step you need to follow the channels and how can you do the same applications maybe different release uh, with new versions with the docker and docker uh, kubernetes application deployment just follow the channels i believe you can get really clear idea what i mean how can you a really professional way to different way of deployment deployment or install the application with the different environments so we can also log the information that i all discuss so maybe we can quit the the, the applications we uh, quit thank you so cli and then we can see the docker docker process we can see docker process and then we can docker logs uh, to the logs the the spring boot application so you can pass the uh, the container id and i believe you can log the application so exactly the same information we are doing the log information so exactly perfect what we expected so so follow the channels i believe that will really help uh, to 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 professionally work doesn't matter who is the beginners or, or some some working experience those 